history as a discipline has changed a lot in the 20th century. If you look at the historiography or history writing prior to the 20th century is mainly based on written documents like uh, chronicles or inscriptions or some other form of writing. And these writings actually did not represent what has happened in the past in its entirety. Therefore, when you try to understand uh, the relations between a region or even relationships within a certain country like for example relations between uh, Sinhalese uh, Muslims and uh, Tamils in Sri Lanka or relationship between Hinduism, Islam and Buddhism in the South Asian region. You need to analyze these relations in terms of time, space and structure. When you do that, rather than seeing differences, what you can see is that there are more shared aspects uh, actually exist. Even though we have uh, the, our own uh, languages, but we accept the sacred language is actually derived from India like Pali or Sanskrit. The South Indian script is more the most common, not only in Sri Lanka, but also in the whole Southeast Asia like Burma and Anton, as well as uh, Cambodia and, Ch and Jamba in South Vietnam. So we share almost mostly the same cultures with actually we are based on Indian ancient culture in the first millennium. With that comes you know other forms of cultural uh, exchange like art and architecture especially in temple building both in Thailand Burma. Many stupa in Thailand and Sri Lanka are also decorated with the rows of elephants. That is the idea of the people to imitate Sri Lankan style of stupa. Interestingly, in Southeast Asia, the numbers of the stupa that surrounds by the elephant is beyond Sri Lanka itself. Okay, from Southern Thailand up to Burma. So in a way religion travels and then it bounds people together with its own doctrine, faith and cultural, political and economic developments that are associated with these religions. When we look at the internal conflicts, we go through now, they are basically based on identity politics, right? Uh, in terms of ethnicity, in terms of religion, in terms of language. History, religious and economic is the uh, elements of identity, right? Con uh, so each of them can unite people in the same time is divide them into the group and they create identity and when the conflict happened, everyone sees just only one identity of the people, not identities. This misunderstanding is one of the main reasons for the ongoing conflicts. For example, in Sri Lanka, the, the conflict between the Tamils, Muslims and the Sinhalese. And in Burma, the conflict between the Buddhists and let's say Rohingya Muslims. And in Thailand also, the conflict between the Buddhists and the, the tribes in the northern area. If we want to create all-inclusive plural society in all these countries that we have been talking, first of all, we have to understand and accept that differences exist and we need to respect these differences as uh, citizens of a nation state. We, we need to fight, fight against the idea of, of the people division uh -huh, by using this kind of study, archaeology, history of art, history, area study to understand, to allow the people to understand each other. I think it's very important to take this message to the younger generation and you know make them understand 
that you need to sort of uh, look into alternative knowledge about the past and have a better understanding how we have lived in the past and use that knowledge to you know minimize conflicts and work with other communities in harmony <laughs>